Hi, I'm Mac from Warner Rentals. In today's episode, we're gonna cover the Honda engine, an engine present on a number of our rental equipment items. Today's episode will not only focus on how to start the machine, but also some of the common issues that are encountered and how we can overcome them. First, let's look at the telltale signs of a Honda engine. First up is the Honda pull cord. We've got the fuel switch, a choke, throttle, air, exhaust, and fuel. Before starting any machine though, there are three simple things that we want to go through to ensure correct device maintenance. First off, we want to check the air filter, which can be done by removing this nut here, and then the cap. We want to take the filter out and give it a light tap so as to remove any debris that might be in the filter. Next, we replace that filter and cap and secure it tightly with the nut. Next up, we want to check the fuel. Removing that cap will allow us to see the capacity and this is full right now, so we'll remove that cap and secure it tightly. Last but not least, we want to check the oil, which can be found on this dipstick up the front of the machine. In doing so, we want to ensure that the oil is between low and high, which on this dipstick you can see is right there, so it's perfect. Now we're ready to start the machine, which can be done in a couple of simple steps. First off, we want to make sure that the fuel is switched from off to on. As this is the first start of the day, we want to ensure that the choke is applied, which will help the machine start. Last but not least, flick this one and we can give it a good pull. Some of the common issues that are encountered with these machines is that the fuel is left on when the machine's not in use. If this is done, what can happen is the machine will flood, which can make starting it hard or even when the machine's running causes the exhaust to smoke more than it should. Another issue is the machines aren't stored in the upright position. This can cause the carburetor to flood Again, making starting an issue and even running uh, an issue as well. Last but not least, we always recommend that you use PPE to ensure the correct safety. We recommend safety glasses, earplugs, and where applicable, steel-toed boots and high visibility. Thanks for watching today's episode and we'll see you next time.